All right, all right, all right. Hey, too, I'm Lucky, and this is your weekly Zer Loot and Location PSA. He is on EDZ in the Winding Cove, one of three locations. And he has the exotic Arbliss, an extremely strong weapon inside Crucible and PvE. Both really good. If you don't have this, of course, grab this immediately. Most of you will have it, though. This pair of Frosties is a 67 stat roll. That's pretty high. And it's got decent distribution. It's a little bit sad that it has low discipline, but not a half bad pair of Frosties. Definitely worth snagging. Uh, Ursa Furiosa with really high mobility. We'll probably pass on that. It, it is a fun exotic to use with Sentinel, though. And we got Karnstein, which is a really good exotic gauntlet for your Warlock. 24 mobility is a bit of a throw, though, so we'll probably pass on that roll. Uh, we got the Chroma Rush, which is one of my favorite auto rifles, the 720s that spam bullets really, really fast. But this roll is uh, average at best. Then we got the Whispering Slab, and we got an average roll on this bad boy as well. So we'll pass on that. The Grid Skipper, which I rated to be one of the lower pulse rifles, which a lot of people hated. Um, it's got an okay roll. And then we have the Truth Teller with no blinding. So unfortunately, we're not going to use this bad boy. And then we've got a Punching Outside Arm. I love this thing in PvP. Absolutely love this thing. And you'll get multiple perks if you reset your uh, Vanguard rank. So maybe you'll have a better roll than mine here because I haven't reset it nearly as much. But... Uh, from the perks I can see right here, Feeding Frenzy on Relenting doesn't look to be that crazy of a roll this week. The Seven Seraf Saw is excellent, though. I personally was looking for and using this in the Grandmasters because there is Overload Machine Gun. And obviously Thunderlord is a really good option, but if you want to use Risk Runner to stay alive, you can use Overload Machine Gun and it's Arc Burn. So I would highly recommend grabbing this this week. Not a lot of people will know the power of this thing and how good it is, but... I was soloing the Grandmasters using this to kill overloads, and it actually worked really, really well. The only bit thing that's a bit of a throw on this roll is just reload speed master work with auto loading is not necessary at all. But this is a really good roll and a fun roll to use, at least this season in Grandmasters. So highly recommend grabbing that bad boy. Would I call it a god roll? It's a near god roll at the very least. Um, the reload speed is a little bit of a throw, but honestly, no matter what you would put in here, it wouldn't really matter much. This is a really good roll to use overall. Um, and the Grandmasters. And then we got the Frozen Orbit. And it can get a bunch of different perks. We got Moving Target and Opening Shot. So that's going to be really lethal for uh, controller players. The handling on this thing is going to feel pretty rough, though. With 15 handling, probably would not enjoy this Sniper in Crucible too much, in my opinion. For Armor, I'm going over the Titan Armor first. We got Gauntlets. We're going to pass. Too much mobility. Um, a decent chest piece. And then way too low on the helmet with 58 stats and way too much mobility on the boots. Then we'll pull up for the other characters here. We got the hunter. Okay. For the hunter armor, we've got a pair of gauntlets with 63 stats. Really nice distribution. Those are definitely worth grabbing. Chest piece with 60 stats. Decent distribution for uh, PvP. Grab that. And that's pretty nice. The high intellect is a little bit of a throw on the helmet. And um, high intellect boots as well. Can pass on those. Warlock armor. Pass on that. 59 stats. 62 will pass on that. And 15 mobility. Pass on those as well. That is a really good pair of boots though for the Warlock from Zerd this week. But keep in mind you can go to the war table and get some pretty crazy armor if you're looking for it. Hawkmoon has hip fire grip. 56 handling. And the Dead Man still has Killing Wind. So some pretty average rolls on those exotics this week. Uh, overall, I think that's probably the most interesting weapon to grab. Let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comments. Which weapons will you be grabbing? What are your thoughts on Zerd this week? Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. Smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.